Hello and welcome to Spencer's Library. I'm Claudia and this video is all about you. Let's do a little psychic experiment. I don't know if you know, but I, I have got superpowers. I don't like to show them off, but it's my party trick. Let's see what I know about you. You are female. You're getting a sense of American. You're American. You're round about my age, between 25 and 34, say, and you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, naughty girl. All right, all right, I admit it wasn't my superpowers telling me all of these things about you. It was actually YouTube analytics. And I get the feeling that a lot of viewers of YouTube don't quite know how much YouTube knows about them and therefore how much I know about my audiences. So today is a quick behind the scenes look at my YouTube analytics and I want to show you what data is actually being collected from you and given to me. I'm going to blend in some screenshots from my YouTube analytics page and all of these analytics are about the viewers of my channel over the last 90 days. However, YouTube doesn't just collect data from the last 90 days. It does, in fact, collect data from the moment I started my YouTube channel right up until now. I'm just choosing the data from the last 90 days because that's kind of the most up-to-date look at what my audience actually looks like. So let's start with gender. And this is quite an interesting statistic I find because 97.2% of my audience is female. And considering I talk about a lot of feminist and gender issues on my channel, I'm not surprised that my audience skews towards the female, but I am surprised that it is that much. 97.2%. That leaves 2.8% of my audience being male. So if you are one of those 2.8%, well done. You get to feel special. When we look at gender across specific videos, that picture becomes a little bit more diverse. So although on average 97.2% of my audience is female, that ratio is almost exactly flipped on my videos in which I talk about Brexit. Isn't that funny? I'll show you the statistics for uh, my very first Brexit video in which I just kind of expressed my frustration about the whole situation and 93.1% of the viewers of that video are male. Now you can draw your own conclusions from that, but it is an interesting statistic. The next most certain thing I know about you is that you are likely not subscribed to this channel. In the past 90 days, only 34.3% of viewers of my videos have been subscribers, which means the majority of people, I guess, click on a video, watch it and then go, Ah, uh, it's not for me. Or maybe they don't have a YouTube account at all. And that's fine. In terms of geography, 34% uh, of my audience are from the US and that makes up the biggest chunk of my audience. Next in line are the UK with 17.4% and Germany with only just 4%. That doesn't really tell me a whole lot though. America has more people than a lot of other countries and more English speakers than a lot of other countries. So it kind of makes sense that that makes up the biggest chunk of my audience. The age ratio I find quite interesting. I'm almost 28 now and 50.7% of my viewers are around my age group. So that's the 25 to 34 age group with about 21% being a decade younger and about 22% being a decade older. Uh, shout out to the 6.4% of you who are 55 to 64. I like that that age group makes up a statistically significant part of my audience. I like to think that I'm not just for millennials, so thanks for validating that. Now you might wonder, since I know all of this about you, what else is YouTube telling me? Well, for example, it tells me what kind of devices you watch my videos on, whether you watch these from a tablet or a computer, which browser you use, which uh, operating system you use on your phone. 
It tells me where you get access to my videos from. Are they being shared on Facebook, on WhatsApp, on Twitter? Are most of you seeing me in the suggested box in the sidebar or are most of you going to my channel page to click on my videos? And these are all just the things that YouTube tells me about you. Now imagine what YouTube knows about you but doesn't even tell me. Imagine what YouTube knows about me. I would think quite a lot. And this isn't even going into the advertising side of things. Now, as you know, there are ads before my videos and after my videos and probably next to my videos. And these ads are all, of course, optimized for you because they want you to click on them and buy stuff. At the same time, those ads are also optimized for my videos. So, uh, for example, I wouldn't be surprised if you find advertising for Audible on the video in which I talked about Audible. Anyway, what is the point of this video? I guess Big Brother is watching you and me and all of us. And that's just the world we live in. No, I thought you might find it interesting to know what kind of analytics and what kind of statistics YouTube provides me with in order so that I can optimize my content, I suppose, so that more people watch this and more people click on the ads. That's how this whole system works. Now, I don't quite know how I'm supposed to be targeting a video towards a 25 to 34 year old American woman who's not subscribed to my channel, but that's not how I create my content anyway. I talk about books. I enjoy talking about the behind the scenes stuff on YouTube because I feel like a lot of YouTubers keep that kind of secret, almost like a little shameful secret that they don't want you to know. But no shame here. If you have any more questions, whether that's about analytics, about the statistical information that's being held about you, whether that's about views and the metrics that YouTube uses to determine success, whether that's about ad revenue, or copyrights or anything like that, please post them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer your question. If it intrigues me enough, I might even do another video about this if you're interested in more behind the scenes stuff from YouTube. Thank you very much for watching. By the way, yes, that is a banana shaped cat bed. I impulse bought that a few weeks ago on Amazon. It arrived today and I love it already, even though the cats have been ignoring it for a solid hour. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.